Sometimes it's a grand coincidence that finally brings two long related storylines onto the same page. That's the point when you start to realize just how much those two storylines overlap, and sometimes you realize they're one big story. That brings us to Donald Trump's long-running Michael Cohen scandal and Donald Trump's long-running Elliot Brody scandal, which are both suddenly coming to a head. Today we learned that the original search warrant for the FBI raid on Michael Cohen's office, along with partially redacted evidence seized during the raid, will be abruptly made public tomorrow. Today we also learned that the FBI raided Elliot Brody's office not long after it raided Cohen's office. Remarkably, neither of these storylines is a result of any official action taken by prosecutors and is instead a result of the media scratching and clawing its way to getting its hands on the story. In fact the same media outlets were not involved in these two stories. This is, by all appearances, coincidentally coming to a head all at once. But if you've been following these two scandals, you know that these two scandals don't have a coincidental relationship with each other. For instance, Michael Cohen and Elliot Brody both worked for Donald Trump during the 2016 campaign, and afterward, he gave them each cushy senior jobs with the Republican National Committee. Trump and Brody both had affairs with women and then paid them to keep quiet. Cohen claimed last year that Trump and Brody were both his clients. And now we know that not long after the feds raided Cohen's office, they raided Brody's office. Over the past nine months we've seen the results of the Michael Cohen raid play out in public, from his plea deal, to his congressional testimony, to the SDNY naming individual one Donald Trump as a co-conspirator in court filings against Cohen. We haven't seen results of the Elliot Brody raid play out in public at all, we're just now learning that it even happened. But these two raids have to be connected, and all roads lead back to Donald Trump. No wonder he's so agitated lately.